Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. This is the all new Mercedes AMG E53 Coupe. And in this video, I will show you the complete exterior interior, the all new technology and we will listen to the sound. From the exterior you can already see the new design. It has the Panamericana grille for a real AMG with the AMG emblem on the right side. This is the less practical but more stylish variant of the E-Class. And this is the key, the new design of Mercedes-Benz which was indeed first announced in the pre-facelift E-Class a few years ago. So from the front you can see the new design. It has a more downward sloping front with the vertical slats in the grille and the large Mercedes star in the center. And the coupe's headlights are slimmer with the sleeker full LEDs, which is standard on all trims. It has two dots, which indicates that this is the E-Class family. The S-Class, which we will see later on Merch Benz King, will probably have three dots. Having a closer look at the AMG details, you can notice the horizontal lines in the front bumper, with the vertical lines in the lower lid. Everything is blacked out because it has a night package. From the side you can notice the gap which is for the aerodynamic package. Before we move on, make sure you follow me on Instagram, the link is down below and I have amazing content special for you. The Turbo Formatic Plus emblem on the side, so it has torque distribution to all the wheels. Amazing exterior color, it is called the Obsidian Black. It matches with the blacked out wheels and the side mirrors. From the side you can also see that the length is quite large, 4 meters and 83 centimeters. I love this coupe line and especially the rear. It doesn't have too many lines on the side which makes the front and the rear stand out. You can also notice that it has the new tail lights and also prominent aerodynamic gaps on the side. These gaps are actually not functional, it makes this rear look very wide. You can already see the vertical lines in the diffuser and moving closer, you can see that it has the new E53 exhaust tips. Very wide, 9cm in width. And having a closer look at the tail lights, you can notice this crocodile design, like we saw in the S-Class Coupe. Amazing shape and the rear is very prominent. The AMG emblem on the left side, a nice reflection, so amazing exterior color design, Mercedes star and the E53 emblem. So let's go ahead and we will have a look at the new design and technology in the interior. So let's open the door. A nice coupe, so frameless doors. The all new generation. Mercedes AMG Super Sport steering wheel. So it has a nice glossy carbon fiber trim. Let's move inside. And I will adjust the seat settings. You can adjust it in seven different ways. It has a nice red seat belt and red leather stitching all around the interior. And what really stands out is this Super Sport AMG steering wheel, as I mentioned the newest generation. It has the turbo style air vents, as we saw from the E-Class before. And nice ambient lighting. Glossy carbon fiber trim everywhere. Let me adjust the seat some more. We will press the button for the electronics to work. As I open and close the door, normally the seat belt will pop out, you can adjust it in the settings. And speaking of the settings, here you have your exhaust button and the dynamic select switcher. You can change it from comfort all the way to sport plus and also slippery mode. It has the new 12.3 inch infotainment system screen. On the steering wheel, nice Alcantara 
very sportive. So let's listen to the sound of the E53 sedan in this example. Taking a closer look at the center console, it has the quality glossy carbon fiber trim. Lovely, in combination with the Burmester surround sound system. Enough space here for your passenger and the perfume setting. It also has some storage space in the center with your USB-C connection. Lovely standard AMG leather seats. These are more comfortable than the sport cup seats. And we will have a final look at the exterior and stay tuned because I will compare this with the sedan. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would prefer. These are the new AMG rims with a thicker side. The size is 275, 30, 20 inch. It looks amazing with the blacked out night package. A little spoiler on the top of the trunk. All in all, this is a complete E-Class Coupe, one of the best facelifts I've ever seen. They changed the whole interior with the technology, it is up to date and it has the newest generation steering wheel which we will likely see in the new S-Class. So now let's have a look at what is under the bonnet. Beautiful soft closing, frameless doors. So let's have a look. Amazing. It has the AMG cover with a red stripe, indicating that this is an AMG tweaked engine. A 3 liter 6 in line which produces 435 horsepower, 520 Nm of torque, with an EQ boost which delivers an additional 21 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. Below the safety assistance camera, you can see a camera for the MBUX. From 0 to 100 km an hour in just 4.3 seconds and the top speed is 270 km an hour if you have the AMG performance package. So let's look back at how this E-Class journey began. We started in Las Vegas with a pre-production model still camouflaged. As you can see we are at the Red Rock Canyon in Nevada with the all new Mercedes-Benz E-Class facelift. This will be very special and you can already see it is a little bit camouflaged. So guys, we are currently driving the new E-Class facelift. So in this beautiful scenery at the Rock Canyon, we will now explain you something about the interior of the new facelift. So next to me I have the expert, his name is Peter, working at Mercedes-Benz. So hi Peter. Hi, good morning, welcome. Uh, I'm happy to present you now the details of the new uh, Mercedes E-Class facelift. What I notice immediately from the interior is the new steering wheel, so there are a lot of new features. Um, in this car we have uh, the new generation of our, uh, of our steering wheels. Um, this car has the option AMG Sport package and so we have the uh, so-called uh, Super Sport steering, steering wheel in combination with this uh, sport package. I think the steering wheel, uh, it looks very dynamic. It is flat uh, here at this side. And Peter is uh, right. This new generation steering wheel has three versions. The luxury, sport and the super sport in this E53 coupe. So the touch control buttons now also function capacitively. And this means that your finger movement is being registered and it works smoothly compared to the touch sensitive pre-generation. So just like your smartphone, the touches are recorded and evaluated. This means at any given point, the system automatically recognizes your finger in the air. 
Let's compare the E53 Coupe with the previously reviewed E53 Sedan and let me know in the comment section below or on Instagram which one you would prefer. So besides having a new powertrain and technology, it also has a new design and you can especially see that here in the front. It has the new Panamericana grille with 12 vertical lines and of course a large Mercedes star in the center. And what's also new is this new shark design headlights, the V shape. And it is now standard, the LEDs. The grill always used to have the small face, but now it is the other way around. The outline is also black. It looks more aggressive, luxurious and yet sharper. And the headlights used to go all the way down to there. And this way it is slimmer and wider. And that takes us over into the side of the car, where you can notice not a lot of difference with the pre-facelift. It still has the Turbo Formatic Plus emblem on the side. And this one has the night package, so the blacked out contours around the window. Also the blacked out side skirts, and these are the new AMG rims with a very thick side and an AMG emblem. And Mercedes original tires. It has the new tail lights with a crocodile design, just like we saw on the S-Class Coupe. And it has the 53 exhaust tips, around 9 cm in width, and also blacked out for the night package. So guys, thanks for watching Merchman's King. I hope you liked this video. The E-Class journey hasn't ended yet, you will see a lot more. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.